Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna take you to some words that we caught up to with Arthur Parker earlier tonight. My name's Arthur Parker. I fight at Lancaster, Pennsylvania. The school I go to is Gingy's Boxing. And um, tonight, I plan on you know, having a good time. That's about all I can say about the fight. I don't really know my opponent. I don't really know how he is or what he's about. I just wanna go out and have some fun. Well, definitely, if he doesn't know his opponent, he's going to be in for a rude awakening as he's going to take on Samir Farid. Again, Samir Farid coming up to uh, from the flyweight division to the 125-pound weight class, if you can believe that, ladies and gentlemen. He actually moved up in weight class to take this fight. Here you see our rules of the cage. No kicks or knees to the head of a ground opponent. No strikes to the spine or the back of the head. And all the fights tonight are going to follow the unified MMA rules. This man, uh, Arthur Parker, fighting out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, a uh, trains at Jing Jing Boxing. That's right, Arthur Parker, a two-time Golden Glove champion and a three-time kickboxing champion. So he's no chump, man. He knows he's gonna. He's ready for a stand-up war. And you heard the man. He's here to have some fun in the octagon. Again, out of Woodbridge, Virginia, representing gold medal grappling, this man. We saw him last at Victorium episode two as he competed in the first featherweight, excuse me, the first strawweight fight in United States history. Here we go with our tail of the tape, ladies and gentlemen. There you see Samir Farid actually moved up in weight to take this fight tonight with Arthur Parker. And definitely both of these men are gonna be looking to improve their record here tonight. That's right, can Samir keep his undefeated streak alive? He definitely has the three inch reach advantage, if you will. I mean, Arthur Parker is no joke with his hands. I mean, I know his record doesn't, it doesn't say he's the best fighter in the world, but he's the hardest hitting fighter in the world. Samir needs to keep his chin down and his hands up or this fight could be over. Well, definitely if, it's, if it stays a stand-up ground game, it's gonna be very interesting to watch again with Samir Farid being the Muay Thai expert that he is and Arthur Parker being that two-time Golden Gloves champion. Definitely impressive. This is going to be an excellent fight, Brandon. I remember that strawweight fight. We had to watch it in slow motion so we could see everything there moving so fast. This should be something, like I said it before, don't blink. Really, you need to tape your eyes open or you might miss something. These dudes are going to move at blazing speed. Todd McGovern is going to have a hard time keeping up with this action, as are we, I'm sure. I expect this match to be fast and furious, no doubt, Matthew Stone. The men, both men come out, touch gloves, and Arthur Parker right out with those right hands after his opponent, Samir Farid. Samir Farid definitely 
early on get, takes a uh, excuse me takes a uh, cage control and presses his opponent right up against the cage. He likes to use that cage, stand his opponent up, deliver knees, Muay Thai strikes, elbows to the head, all kinds of different offense up against that cage, Matthew Stone. That's right. We have uh, Arthur Parker showing great takedown defense <laughs> up against the cage here. You can definitely tell he's a two-time Golden Glove champion with the footwork and that movement right now. But you can't punch when you're taken down as he just was right there. Oh, look at that. Going for an arm bar. Samir's not having it. Possible triangle. Mad scramble. Tom McGovern only gets taken out in the pileup. Definitely, like you said, Matthew Stone, the, the pace is going to be fast. Todd McGovern's going to have to do everything he can to keep up. And again there, he had to show some of his fast footwork to stay out of the way of these two men. Again, both men only weigh 125 pounds. But th with that much force coming at you, it's easy to get trampled. And again, Samir Fari just showing dominance. A very educated fighter. A very articulate man as well. And again, Arthur Parker is going to have his work cut out for him if he hopes to find another victory here tonight. As you can see, he held side control, immediately takes the back. Arthur Parker needs to get on his feet. Right now, Samir has one hook in, has the second hook in, has over under control, flattens out Arthur Parker. This is not where Arthur Parker wants to be. Looks like he sinked in the rear naked choke right there, Brandon. This could be a very quick end for the night for Arthur Parker. Definitely against Samir Fareed, a very educated fighter. He's going to get those punches in. He's going to create opportunities. He's going to create space and find that pinpoint precision and land those rights and lefts. That was a nice move by Parker there. He had one of the hooks out. As you can see, when he bucked Samir, grabbed on. He has the, as you see, he has the over under control on the back. He has both hooks. You notice he doesn't cross his feet. If you cross your feet, you can do a submission. Every time Arthur Parker tries to buck, he flattens him out. This is a bad position for Arthur Parker. He, he, luckily, he's not raining down. Now, as, you, as I can say, unluckily now, he is raining down softening punches. It looks like Samir's going, he wants a submission victory, even though he's hitting him right now. There he was hitting, hitting the side of the head, so hitting underneath the arm, like you said, flattening him back out, attacking the ribs, attacking the head. And like I said, he is going to create space. He is going to create opportunities. He is going to create oh. landing pads. But Arthur Parker somehow able to reverse it. Look at that little bit of a flurry on the part of Arthur Parker, and the crowd is eating it up. The crowd loves it. But right back in control with Samir Fareed, right up against that cage in the dominant position, trying to use every ounce of that 125-pound frame to his advantage. Speaking of the crowd, look at him out there. They are standing. There is nobody sitting here tonight. We're standing. Everybody's standing. This is some of the best action I've ever seen. As you can see right now, Samir going for a high single right there. Good defense by Arthur Parker using the fourth man in the cage. Oh, but my bam, goodness. There it is. Definitely there's not much you can do to defend against that. Just hold on and hope for the best. And definitely uh, Arthur Parker didn't end up in too bad of a position, but definitely Samir Fareed is trying to advance his position. And Arthur Parker fighting back from the bottom but look Samir Fareed effortlessly just floats in the side control but Arthur Parker fighting back oh we have a wizard by Samir right there nice defense Arthur Parker is showing that he does have grappling skill he may be a kickboxing champion and a golden glove champion but he's definitely been working on his grappling game because you cannot be one dimensional in this fight game Brandon unless you knock him out with the first punch you have to learn some grappling in this game Definitely right for a man who is so well versed in the stand-up game. But for a man who's so well versed in arts of using the hands and feet, he has definitely impressed me. And I'm sure you in the crowd here tonight with his ability to uh, to counter some of the ground game. And in fact, even de uh, deliver some of his own ground game. You know, Arthur Parker really hasn't had a chance to get off any combinations and show, if you will, what brought him to the dance. Nice short elbow there, but as you said, Samir is just on him. He is giving him no space, no opportunity to breathe. Every time he tries to do something, so, oh, nice knee there by Parker, though. I mean, he's not he's not out of it by a long shot, but we only have 40 seconds in this first round, Brandon left. Cannot wait to see what's going to happen. Again, this 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 fight might go to a second round, and if it does, that just means more action for us, more action for the fans. And look at Arthur Parker trying to create some space with that leg trying to push his opponent away and definitely it's more advantageous for him if he keeps those hips further apart it allows him to be able to knee his opponent like he did earlier a couple more knees to the midsection to the solar plexus can definitely do some damage to Samir Fareed that's right Arthur Parker's gonna have to go back to his corner at the end of this round and change his game plan he's gonna have to throw that jab throw a front kick to keep Samir off him as soon as Samir gets a chance he's all over him round one comes to an end Tom McGovern breaks him up, and here we go, Brandon. Well, definitely Samir Farid doing everything he can 
to win this fight and just doing everything to almost perfection, Matthew Stowe. We saw him last time at uh, Victorian episode two, and I'm here to tell you, he was very fluid in his kicks, very fluid in his knees, very fluid in his punches. Again, a very educated fighter. And his game plan is just attack. He doesn't let up for one second. He is just all over, almost like an anaconda smothering his opponent. And I have a question for you, Brandon. Samir is 2-0. Do you think that's more pressure on him to remain undefeated even though he's only 2-0? I wouldn't say it's more pressure on him, but definitely he wants to keep that undefeated streak alive. He said it earlier in his interview that we were able to catch up with him. And again, why not? It's definitely nice to say that you're undefeated as a fighter, but don't get me wrong, you definitely learn from the, from the losses as well as the victories. Sometimes even more from the losses than you do from the victories. As you can see, that both men look like wild animals. They're ready to get this going. Tom McGovern, he, he's definitely had to bring a Red Bull before this match to keep up with this action. Here we go, Brandon, round two. I'm definitely excited there. You see Samir Farid coming right back out after Arthur Parker. Arthur Parker seems to be a little bit weary after that uh, first round had a little bit more feeling out process of Samir Farid and trying to, like you said, maybe change his game plan up a little oh. bit. Nice, nice high kick on the part of Samir Farid and then dives right back into almost like oh. going, spearing his stomach and then going right back, taking him down, right back into that side mount control. You could see at the beginning of the round, Arthur Parker looked a little hesitant. He was scared to throw punches of fear of being taken down. And what happened? He got taken down. He's gonna have to, it looks like he's trying to utilize rubber guard there to neutralize the side control, but that's easier said than done. You can see he has his hand over his ear to prevent an arm triangle on that side. He's holding on for dear life. North-south by Samir. This is definitely where Arthur Parker does not want to be ever sleep rolling around on him. Side control now. Uh, Arthur Parker's in a lot of trouble, Brandon. Like I said earlier in Matthew Stone, Samir Farid executing everything he does to near perfection. Again, a very intelligent fighter. He's been fighting for over four years, been training for over four years. And again, just looks so fluid in the ring so comfortable inside of our cage. Yeah, there's definitely uh, a little, uh, oh, look at that, right into the mount, ground and pound on Arthur Parker. Is he going belly down? Yes, he's giving him his back, hooks in again, flattens him out, and he has the rear naked choke in his, there it oh, is, he, he has taps. to tap. Arthur Parker taps it again at the end of, at the end in closing moments of round number two, Samir Farid pulls almost an exact replay of round number one and walks away with an impressive victory over a formidable opponent in Arthur Parker and improves his record to 3-0 and keeping that win streak alive. That's right. He did what he said he was going to do. He was going to win tonight. He executed his game plan from his coaches to perfection, and he won his fight. Don't get, don't take nothing away from Arthur Parker. It was just not his night, but he's definitely a great fighter, and I hope to see him again here in the future at uh, Victoria and Glove Improving Ground. Definitely the team of Samir Farid, the people from Gold Medal Grappling out of Woodbridge, Virginia. You have got to be excited again as this man moves up from the strawweight division here to the flyweight division. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I said he actually moved up in weight to take this fight here tonight. This has been an epic, epic night of fighting so far. Every fight is something different. This has been amazing, Brandon. I can't wait to see what's next. But let's take it to Giovanni right now.